co-pilot is Jaya, along with crew member Anshika and Tiona. So now we are going with the presentation. Over to you, Sonal. Thank you, Manveer. Greeting guest, I welcome you all. First of all, I request you to put yourself on mute so that we can all experience and gaze the beautiful country, Indonesia. So. Destination Indonesia, a nation's country online country profile of the largest archipelago in the world. Now, what is archipelago? An archipelago is an area that contains a chain or group of islands scattered in lakes, rivers, or the ocean. But why Indonesia is called the largest archipelago in the world? It is so-called because the country consists of five major islands and about 30 smaller groups there are a total number of 17,508 islands, of which about 6,000 are inhabited. The island country is located in maritime Southeast Asia between the Indian Ocean, the Timor Sea, and the Arafura Sea to the south, the Bay of Bengal to the northwest, the South China, and the other marginal seas to the north. Indonesia has total land area of 1,94,569 kilometers square, including 93,000 square kilometers of inland seas. This makes it is the largest island country in the world. The additional surrounding sea areas bring Indonesia as generally recognized territory to about 5 million kilometers square. The government claims an exclusive economic zone of 6,159,000 032 kilometers square. This brings the total area to about 7.9 million kilometers to a square. The national flag. The national flag of Indonesia, which is known as Sangsaka Meraputi, which means the red and white. I'm in scribbled, ma'am. Yes, Indonesia is not the largest country. No, it's an island largest island country in the world. Will you please put yourself on mute? Yeah. So national flag of Indonesia, which is known as Sang Saka Meraputi, which means the red and white in Indonesian, is based on the flag of the 13th century Majapahit Empire. The flag itself was introduced and hosted in public at Indonesian Independence Day ceremony on 17th of August, 1945. The design of the flag has remained the same ever since. Red represents courage, while the white represents purity and of intent. Talking about the capital, the national capital is Jakarta. Jakarta lies on the northwest coast of Java at the mouth of the Silva on the Kata Bay and the embayment of the Java Sea. It is coextensive with the Metropolitan District of Greater Jakarta and district nearly coextensive with the Kusis Bukata of Jagrata, the later also including a number of small offshore islands in the Java Sea. Now, the mother tongue or the national language. Indonesian the language Indonesian is the official language of Indonesia. Yes, the fun fact is there are over 800 languages spoken in Indonesia according to the census. Indonesian is spoken by, nine, by over 94% of the population, but it is the primary language of only 20% of the population. Javanese is the most so language spoken by over 30% of the population. Guest, I request don't scribble on the screen. The president of Indonesia is Joko Widodo. Now, the climate. 
as we all know that Indonesia is an island and we know that coastal area of the island has moderate climate. The main variable, the main variable of Indonesia climate is not temperature or air pressure, but rainfall. Split by the equator, Indonesia has an almost entirely tropical climate with the coastal plains averaging 28 degrees Celsius, the inland and mountain areas averaging 26 degrees Celsius and the higher mountain regions 23 degrees Celsius. The area related humidity is quite high and ranges between 70 and 90%. Their airlines, just like other countries, Indonesia has its own airlines. First is AirAsia, second is Garud Airlines, third is Namir, is Batik Airlines, sixth, fourth is Batik Airlines, fifth Lion Airlines, and sixth is Citilink. So these were this, some fa famous airlines of the country. Now, the currency. The rupiah is the official currency of Indonesia. The name rupiah is derived from the Sanskrit word rupiakam, which means silver. Now, if we talk about that how much amount is one rupiah equals, then it is equal to 0 0.0051 INR. Economy, the Indonesian economy is the largest in Southeast Asia and is one of the emerging market economies of the world. As an upper middle income country and member of the G20, Indonesia is classified as a newly industrialized country. It is the 15th largest Good afternoon, in the world by nominal GDP and the seventh largest in terms of GDP estimated at US dollar 40 billion in 2019. Indonesia has internet economy is expected to cross the 130 billion US dollars by 2025. Indonesia depends on domestic market and government budget spending at its ownership of state on enterprises full stop the uh, administrative of prices of a range of basic goods also plays a significant role in Indonesia as market economy. However, since in 1998, the majority of the economy has been controlled by individual Indonesian and foreign companies. Now, let's have a look on Indonesian culture. Uh, Sonal? Scribbling, ma'am. Uh, hello, am I audible, Sonal? Indonesia has a total population of more than 235 million people from more than 350 ethnic groups. Ever since prehistoric times, the Indonesian archipelago has been inhabited. Most Indonesians today speak at least two languages or more. Volcanic eruption in Indonesia made the ideal habitat for a large number of unique and endemic flora and fauna. Being a tropical country, Indonesia is blessed with two seasons. Various kinds of different cultures and traditions around the country are also expressed in many interesting events. Indonesian culture is indeed rich in arts and crafts, for example, textile, woodcraft, and beautiful sculptures. Indonesian cuisine is one of the most vibrant and colorful cuisines in the world, full of intense flavor. Many of the world's most ancient wonders can be found in Indonesia. 
Indonesia has a diverse wealth of terrestrial and marine animal species. Flora and fauna of Indonesia are divided by an imaginary line called the Wallace Line. Experience how communities have sustained their beliefs and traditions throughout the centuries in splendid isolation in order to survive this eternal cycle of life and death on Earth. Great Bata, blessed with a lot of potential tourism objects, beautiful beaches, and cultural attractions. As industrial and commercial city, Bata is perfect place for shopping lovers. Sumatra, land of Malay culture, the place of one of the best Indonesian cuisine, rendang, is here. The beauty of local tradition is preserved until now. Great Jakarta. Jakarta, as the capital city and the center of Indonesian government, is the main entrance for tourists to Indonesia. Jakarta is also a business center in Indonesia where you can shop anything easily. Bandung, a paradise for creative industry, fashion, music, culinary, art, design, and more interesting things can be found here. Yogyakarta. A unique traditional culture, friendly local residents also place for 100 years of one of civilization wonder, Borobudur Temple. Surabaya, the city of heroes and the second biggest metropolitan city in Indonesia. Surabaya is also an industrial city. Many historical places still can be visited here. Great Bali, enchanting beaches, irreplaceable natural beauty, making this area the best place to enjoy the natural wealth of Indonesia. Not to forget that the traditions of the local residents are well preserved. Kalimantan, or also known as Borneo, is a paradise. The flora and fauna and fine ecotourism society. Sulawesi. The most prominent tourist attractions in this island are ecotourism and marine tourism that grant the island the reputation of being a diverse paradise. Maluku, Papua, a hidden paradise in Indonesia. Society with rich traditional culture, extraordinary natural wealth such as Raja Ampat and home for typical Indonesian flora and fauna. After seeing the culture, now we'll proceed to the places which we can visit in Indonesia. Fiona, play the second video. Okay, ma'am. With over 2,000 islands, Indonesia is the largest archipelago in the world. The island nation 160 active volcanoes, far more than any other country, and has some of the largest remaining tracts of tropical forest anywhere in the world. Indonesia is both a leisure seeker's dream and an adventurer's playground. Whether you're looking to bronze on beautiful beaches, hike in search of endangered orangutan, or snorkel among some of the most beautiful coral reefs on Earth, this country has something for everyone. Here's a look at the best places to visit in Indonesia. Number 10, Raja Ampat Islands. An island cluster on the northwestern tip of Papua New Guinea, Raja Ampat is one of the most sensational diving destinations in Indonesia. 
Naming four kings, Raja Ampat is made up of four major jungle-clad islands, surrounded by turquoise lagoons and palm-fringed beaches, along with thousands of smaller islands. The archipelago is celebrated for its rich marine life and underwater coral reefs. These islands are also home to spectacular beaches with shallow blue waters and fine white sand. Lagoons provide protection from the wind and a special place to relax in paradise. The fishes are very different, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, they are very different. Located at the north of the island of Sulawesi, Bunaken is one of Indonesia's most famous dive and snorkeling destinations. The island is part of the Bunaken Marine Park, where you can see more than 70% of all fish species that live in the Western Pacific. By and large, the diving spots are geared toward advanced divers with strong swimming skills. However, increasing in popularity is snorkeling in the shallower coral reefs closer to the shoreline. Number eight, Flores. Portuguese for flowers, Flores is undeniably an island of incredible scenic beauty. The most famous attraction in Flores is the Kelimutu Volcano Caldera, which has three lakes fed by volcanic gas that change color according to the amount of oxidation in the water. The three colored lakes are a must see from the top of the volcano at sunrise. The North Coast has many offshore islands and coral reefs to explore with an exhilarating dive or snorkeling trip. Number seven, Toraja Land. Tucked within the lush central islands of southern Sulawesi, Toraja Land is a region that's dotted with rice fields, limestone peaks, and bamboo-clad hills. Home to the Toraja, an animist people, Tana Toraja has a fascinating culture that's remained largely independent from Western influence. Tarajans are famous for their massive beach roof houses and spectacular but gruesome funeral rites. After a person's death, the body is kept for several years until the actual funeral ceremony, which can last for several days. The deceased is then finally buried in a small cave or in a hollow tree. Thank you. 
Number six, Lake Toba. Lake Toba on the island of Sumatra is an immense volcanic lake about 100 kilometers long and 30 kilometers wide. Formed by a gigantic volcanic eruption some 70,000 years ago, it is the largest resurgent caldera on Earth. Samosir Island in the middle is the largest island within an island and contains two lakes. Besides visiting a lake on an island within a lake on an island, tourists also come here to kick back and relax and swim in the volcanically warmed waters. Number five, Mount Bromo. Mount Bromo is an active volcano and part of the Tenjer Massif in East Java. At 2,329 meters, it is not the highest peak of the massif, but is the most well known. The area is one of the most visited tourist attractions in Java. The top of the volcano has been blown off and the crater inside constantly belches white smoke. It is surrounded by the sea of sand, of fine volcanic sand. The overall effect is unsettlingly unearthly. Number four, Lombok. An increasingly popular alternative to overly commercial Bali, Lombok and its offshore coral rigged Jui Islands are tropical paradises. Here you can enjoy all the appeal of Bali before tourism took over. Surfing hotspots, uncrowded beaches, and magical waterfalls tucked away within steamy jungles. Backpackers head to Lombok in search of adventure. This is likely because its volcano-topped jungle provides for a great trek surrounded by unforgettable scenery. If you're planning on hiking the Rinjani volcano and its photogenic crater lake, make sure you're fit and have booked with a reputable guide. It's by no means a walk in the park. Number three, Komodo National Park. Located near Flores, Komodo National Park is famous for one thing and one thing only. 
its reptilian namesake, the Komodo dragon. Spread across three main islands, the park provides a sanctuary for this strange looking creature, reminiscent of the dinosaurs. It's the largest living lizard on the planet and can reach a mighty three meters in length. The reptiles roam freely over the islands and visitors rely on experienced tour guides for sightings and to keep them safe. But you'll also spot wild horses, water buffalo, and long-tailed macaques here. Offshore, the park encompasses some of the richest marine habitats in the world with a kaleidoscope of sponges, crustaceans, and bony fish. Yogyakarta. <sighs> Bustling town of some 500,000 people and the most popular tourist destination on Java due to its proximity to the famous temples of Borobudur and Prambanan. The city itself is a center of education and culture, particularly for Javanese fine arts, and has a wide range of tourist facilities. Yogyakarta lies in one of the most seismically active parts of Java, and has thus repeatedly been struck by earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. In 2006, an earthquake flattened over 300,000 houses, while in 2010, the nearby volcano of Mount Merapi erupted, spewing lava over nearby villages. Number one, Bali. One of the most visited and dreamed of destinations on the modern traveler bucket list, Bali is a kaleidoscope of beautiful beaches, volcanic hills, lush rice paddies, and thousands upon thousands of Balinese temples. It's celebrated for its laid back atmosphere that's attracted backpackers, surfers, and yogis for years who have come in search of finding their zen in this tropical paradise. Nicknamed the Island of the Gods, Bali is deeply rooted in the spiritual, with endless Hindu temples boasting colorful architecture all of their own, particularly in Ubud, Bali's spiritual capital. Oh, 
रियल लाइफ इवेंट Yes. 